Hi Pisces and welcome to part two of your video for uh, 2015 uh, tarot card reading. My video part one got cut off because of the battery and I was stuck on a part I wanted to finish but it was long enough that part one is posted now and so now let's begin with part two and so I'll finish up the reading. Uh, the battery is still low so I'm worried that it's not going to charge enough for me to be able to finish the reading, but I'm going to do my best to finish the reading for you guys so you don't kill me for not having told you the actual outcome of what we're looking at. So we went through these cards pretty, uh, pretty, pretty much extensively. Um, what it tells me is that in the past your community interactions, including school or, or uh, relationships in terms of marriage, established you in a position of power and there's been quite a bit of shift in good fortune in your life leading up to this year. So you've been very fortunate moving into 2015 and you're coming off on a high, you're kind of reverberating at a high high um, vibration level and things are going well and you're quite strong through it. So, so with these aspects you're coming in you know bright bright faced and very full of energy and and you feel like you are embedded within a doctrine within a within a system that you've been dealing with so that kind of um, explains the past and now moving into this year and the future at the center remember we have the magician which is a very powerful card and the tower also a powerful card and in terms of your community, you have a lot of changes coming your way, maybe some deceptive people, but you yourself are quite strong and established throughout the year. And then in the undercurrent, you're really listening to your inner voice. This is your cards, uh, the high priestess, the star, and the sun. Listen to your inner voice, but essentially life is leading you to where you need to be. So the outcome of everything, as we've discussed already, is that of the hanged man. So it means that things will persist as they have been um, moving forward and you're still gonna spend some time this year waiting for some of the aspects to resolve themselves. So not everything will res have resolved instantly for you. In fact, you can probably wait and expect to wait quite some time in order for things to resolve to the point that you may be scratching your head or you may be angst and full of angst and a little bit of frustration trying to wait for things to come around for things to work out to what you want them to be i think that there may be quite a few interjections in your life this year and so there as you go along you may find that there's a lot of stuff um, roadblocks along your road along your path so lots of lots of you'll have to take a lot of side roads, back back entry, that kind of thing. You'll have to get really inventive how you deal with stuff. And, and these roadblocks are going to be kind of random. They're not going to be associated with the initial, with the problem at hand or with your, with your goal set at hand. So things will pop up around you. Things will come up around you that will require your time and energy and, and, and you'll need to focus on that. And that will be the greatest uh, part of this kind of stasis. So you're going to be ready to move forward, but yet some things are going to come up that are going to require your time and energy that are going to distract you. And so you're going to shift your focus in those directions. The, so the high, uh, the high priest, sorry, <laughs> the, the hanged man is modified by the temperance card and the chariot card. It means that this is a great year. You're stepping into a great time of creativity and during those frustrating moments when you wish you could be further ahead than than it's time uh, to be uh, you may find that creativity uh, will be something that re really emancipates you from your circumstances and something that will be quite freeing and 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 fun for you to get in touch with I think that you'll be combining a lot of different things the temperance card is more than just creativity. It's about balancing. So if you think about uh, like polemics and you have a thesis, an antithesis, and a synthesis, 
um, the, the triangular logic sort of, of stuff. This is kind of the card of that. So basically the combination of a statement and it's, it's contrary and to form some kind of conclusion, some outcome that is, that is the relationship or the discourse between the two variables. And so with this card coming up in this position, you're finding yourself balancing out the various different influences on you, on your life, and on the life of those people who are around you and deriving some very specific conclusions. And those conclusions are gonna be tied into success, overcoming, feeling good about yourself, and also feeling quite uh, expansive this year. The, ch the chariot isn't so much about moving horizontally, it's about moving vertically. So if you think about ascension, if you think about expansion, consciousness raising, this is a great card. In combination with this, a very creative uh, combination of a, a propensity to be creative, a, a propensity to think outside of the box, and the ability to manage the hangman, which can be quite frustrating at time. The one aspect of the hangman that's kind of underrated is that there's no time limit. It is purgatory. And, and when you're in purgatory, you can't really set a time limit on that. It's something that is given onto you. And so uh, the frustration of the hangman often is associated with the fact that you think that you're ready to move forward. However, something in life is holding you in its place. And, and so that thing sometimes is called a sacrifice in which you're making a choice for the benefit of other people or for the benefit of a cause in order to uh, help that and that's coming at your own detriment to, to a certain extent. But there is a karmic implication of the hangman and that is the ability to clear out your karma and you'll see that really manifest as the outcome. So, so take that medicine, allow it to kind of wash over you, implement it in your life and, and through that time when it might get a little frustrating in which you want to move forward but you're not quite able to do so, then use that time in order to be ultra creative, in order to maybe pursue some alternate goals, some side goals, you know, in order to feel that level of success and feel, and feel really kind of happy and content about life and in touch with the way things should be. I think that you'll feel quite good about the choices you make if you are making a sacrifice for the betterment of other people. I think that not all the time when we're making these kinds of choices do we do so to be noticed or recognized, but I think in this case people will recognize the, the choices that you're making and so at the same time as they recognize that um, about you then they'll, they'll, they'll say oh wow you're doing a really great job and thank you so much for caring and thank you so much for trying so hard so this is the the, the future as we've discussed I think that some people may require a, quite a bit of you um, this year and so that's gonna change things for you as well so the next card down is the world card the world card is of course the card of success very much like the the chariot card, but the world card is really looking beyond one's borders, beyond one's community, and interacting with a global mindset. And so that global mindset is feeding onto you and is giving you perspective. Sometimes when we look at a problem, it seems like there's no solution at hand, but once we expand our consciousness and we consider it from a global perspective, then that allows us to see the bigger picture and allows us to really gain the the momentum and also the energy through which we can be successful. In this year, many of you Pisces may actually look abroad in order to um, move, to travel, to interact on an international level, something beyond your community. I think that your position in your community is quite fractured at this time, particularly with maybe some devils in your midst. So maybe your solution to that is to say, okay, this right now is not that conducive to my well-being. So I'm going to look beyond what I know, beyond my community, and try to get in touch with the world abroad and kind of gain benefit from that. So remember, this year, your goal is to con continually connect with the world at large, however you need to, in the most efficient way you can in order to improve your life in order to continually work at improving your life, even though that certain things may not be 
happening for you at the time that you had expected. The world card also says that there's blessings coming at you from the world. So there is going to be an opportunity that comes up for you. Opportunities in plural that come up for you over and over again. But those opportunities are global in nature and you'll have to make a decision about whether you want to direct yourself in those ways. If you do want to make a fundamental shift in your life, in particular moving to a different country, this is this would be a tower as well and folding you can use the tower in your favor so you can just give up your life in the current country that you live in and then you can move out to a different country this is the time to do that and so and so the world card says that you yourself are a global citizen this year and so therefore making those bridges and making those those choices is something that is feasible for you in fact the magician card here tells me that any chances of you establishing yourself elsewhere are quite strong and you can really go abroad and explore because you have the star card in the undercurrent with the sun and the high priestess so you're the conduit of this kind of uh, non-verbal language the secret language of intuition that's guiding you to the right place at the right time so really trust yourself take a few chances always take your chances to be respectful remember the devil is here so you're you're when you do your chances don't go out on a limb way too much but reasonable chances are things that can work in your favor although you have to wait for some karmic things to clear for you and there's going to be a bit of a pause in your life with regard to how quickly you can see that come about i see you spinning your wheels quite a bit this year particularly through the early mid-year and depending on how you manage that, how, how much it, you feed into it, will really kind of clarify, you know, how much you'll be emancipated from that leading up to the end of the year. So your friends and family position got the moon, which really reinforces the fact that the devil here may be somebody who's a trickster amongst your, amongst your kin, amongst your friends. So expect that throughout this year, you will see... Um, All right, Pisces, so sorry uh, about that, but my battery died again, and so I had to recharge it. And so where were we? We talked about you and the circumstance having a world leave you, and then also uh, with regard to your friends and family. So I gave you guys the warning that through your friends and family, there might be some duplicitous actions coming your way this year. So just be cautious and expect the shadow to come through your friends and family this year. This can also mean that you find connections with other women as well because the moon, aside from the shadow, I'm not saying women are the shadow, but women are represented by the, loon, uh, by the moon card. And so that means that you can find connection uh, with other women and find fr fraternity with other women. Um, through your experiences this year, whether you're a man or a woman. Also, there's a great sense of intuition and s serendipity with regard to your personal relationships. So that means that you find yourself in a specific place and time and, and you kind of have these kinds of encounters with people um, at specific times and dates and, and that has kind of like a secret language to it. So something that you can't quite put your finger on, you can't quite articulate or really fully understand. And and it just does, doesn't have no, any kind of rhyme or reason, yet it is what it is. So, so that's kind of your friends and family environment. And in terms of uh, the biggest hurdle, that you're kind of coming up against or the biggest lesson you got the empress which kind of is um is is not a, a easy way to articulate how that is a challenge but um essentially what it is is coming to terms with your own femininity and coming to terms with your own nurturing and and maybe uh with the fact that you know whether you want to be a mother or not or maybe mother issues become really important for you this this year. So, so relationship with your mother really mirrors how your life uh, evolves, how you evolve as a woman if you are a woman. 
Um, so it could be the mat matriarchal lineage and, and what you've learned from your mother, or maybe it's your relationship with other women. It can be also a relationship with yourself, how you actually become, work through your feminine forms. Um, this card can also represent um, your relationship with your spouse. If you are married to a woman, it could, it could, uh, that relationship can become a focal point. If you're, if, if this is regarding a relationship with a significant other, be really wary about what that person's intentions are this year. So just really watch them closely and watch what, where they're coming from because it might be quite questionable what they're about and what they're offering you. So just be cautious in your personal relationships across the board. The outcome card, very positive card in the outcome. So the outcome is the last judgment card and, and it really talks, it's kind of the big payoff with regard to everything that you've been, you've been waiting for and, and the bit of stasis, the bit of gridlock that you face this year is really kind of leads up to this emancipation. And that emancipation probably will happen to you in the second to third quarter, in which case you will be free of the shackles that bind you and you will be able to move forward for the rem remainder of the year. I think that it's kind of a pause on your life and uh, leading up to this point, and you'll feel a great bit of exaltation, exhilaration, because you'll be free of those things that bind you, you will be removed the, the things that oppress you and be able to move forward without the oppression and without the stigma. Um, so you'll feel like a new world's beginning for you, a new set of opportunities. I would even vent venture to differ that for many of you, your life this year as it goes through this major transition is not going to be like the life you led before in any way, more so than any Every person goes through transitions all the time, but I think you're actually reaching this kind of um, massive adjustment or a ma massive transition that you're going to face about mid-year. And so, and so that massive transition is going to have some unique patterns to it, such as the stasis leading up to it, and then there's going to be the clearing away. And then when the clearing away happens, then that's when you really become so powerful in your magician's position and able to be even more within your right path and more within the right trajectory that, that you've kind of set out for. And the world is going to really become your oyster. You're going to be very empowered to do new things and you're going to be very motivated to be a different person than you were ever before. So very nice card as this is the big outcome card and, and the summary for the whole, whole year. So as a summary card, it just says that everything that you're going through as frustrating as it may come up is with purpose is for a reason. And in the end, you will be happy that you had experienced it and there will be positive outcomes for you. If you just hold on tight, stick to your guns and don't waste your time. So, one thing to say about your reading, and it's more important than just a general observation for everybody, is that readings, some readers do pick time time caps with regard to their readings. I'm not one of those people. I think that we're on path through, through se several different experiences and we can go through those quickly or we can go through those slowly. And a lot of that depends on our own disposition towards what's going on. So when I say that the transition may happen in the second to third quarter, it really depends upon you about how um, agreeable you are, how willing to compromise you are, and how, how well you stay away from roadblocks like the devil. So, so really focusing on new beginnings and really uh, processing information in an altruistic way not causing friction and, and, and being true to yourself and those people around you is the way that you're going to go through this process much faster and, and that outcome can be achieved. There are certain paths along the way that are pre-planned that you must face that are kind of predestined, 
but overall a, a big chunk of life is just free will and that's what we are given as human beings through the Christian lens and so having that uh, applying that lens to the reading it just suggests that you will make some decisions um, and the quicker that you make those decisions the quicker that you can experience the larger transitions okay so I hope that answers your question I anticipate that many of you would have this question so that's why I was kind of reaching for that or wanting to explain it now now I broken down the four quarters into the into the four cards and this first one represents spring as I do see that as the primary uh, beginning of the year and in the spring you will see a lot of justice served in your favor a lot of things that have been unequal for you are coming into equality um, also if you have been out of balance do some reason then you're going to be kind of brought back down to earth about those things and so and so this is a time when you definitely do not want to engage any negativity and don't get dragged down by negative people or ideas around you and you really want to focus on being fair and just to yourself and those around you and then everything will run smoothly in the summer months you have the the death card now this is the second quarter and the summer months is really talking about growth and blossom and we have the the death and rebirth card here so the what's going on is that there's some kind of conclusion a karmic clearing for your previous experiences or things that you have been tied up in and by the summertime you'll be able to spout new new forms and begin anew and this is probably really closely associated with this last judgment so expect a lot of new opportunity to come your way new visions to start appearing remember that a lot of this stuff can happen really below the surface and it may take some time for it to flourish and grow into tangible things so so realize that part of this can be your own personal work and really kind of um, ideas or exchanges, exchanges of communication that aren't materializing right away as concrete things but these are real, the real foundations are really set in the summertime. So with regard to the fall, and the fall I associate with yang energy. Once you've put in the growth and, 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 and blossoming of the summer, the fall energy is the yang energy and this is how all that this manifest so it's really the harvest season and so everything coming together in the fall will really leave you alone contemplating your position you may not you may have made the right decisions as to um, make the right choices and go in the right direction but life doesn't catch up to us al always as quickly as we move through it and so this card is telling me that you're going to spend some time or have some time to be alone as life adjusts to fit in to kind of the the setup that you've come across so expect that in your in your third quarter now in the fourth quarter which is the winter time and this is associated with yin energy or the receiver um, the kind of the kind of last pangs and the last manifestation um, and the the ultimate payoff for your struggle of next year you will find that you are finding bond and communion with people who are adequate for you so trying all those different options away from the devil and being autocratic about your about your goals about who you want to be will ultimately lead you into the hands of people who are deserving of you and so this this whole year seems to be a transition of you hurting yourself in essence by exposing yourself to maladaptive things at states of being mind frames and even people and and redirecting your energy towards fraternity and fraternity means family and family means any kind of community that is a close-knit community it can be a relationship it can be friendships it can be a literal family in terms of bloodlines or it can be an adoptive family or a community that you interact with okay 
So I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Sorry about the fractured nature of the reading. I guess I'm pushing through the readings as quickly as I can so I can get everyone's done uh, while within a good time frame. And so, yeah, definitely like these video videos. If you appreciate it, share it with your friends. If you want one of these done for yourself, along with some numerology, check out, check out my shop and we'll talk soon. Thanks very much. I hope you have a very happy 2015. Take care.